The Tomb of the Cybermen. This is definitely one of the most well-known episodes from the Second Doctor era. Right up there with the War Games. Don't know for sure which is better known. And that makes sense because this one's really good. I've actually seen this one before. I saw it when I was a kid and I actually didn't really like it then. But upon rewatching it, yeah, it's really a good story. There honestly is quite a bit in this story I just like. I enjoy the way it's shot, particularly the outside scenes before they enter the tomb. I just enjoy this kind of story and how they have to solve these puzzles. Not, not really puzzles, but, you know, getting past these traps. It's like in the vein of Indiana Jones, but not really the same style as Indiana Jones. And it's just the kind of stuff that I really enjoy. The characters in this one can sometimes come across as a bit one note and sometimes over the top, but the story works well enough that it didn't really drag down the episode for me. The one possible exception is the character of Toberman, as I do find his stereotype to be an offensive and outdated one, but it is something I feel I have to bring up because yeah, that's not a good element to have as part of your story, this stereotypical character. So I think that's worth mentioning. We did see Victoria in the previous episode, but she isn't in it a lot, and I feel as though she gets more time in this one to be herself. She works pretty well for me. She's really out of her element, so I understand why she is reacting to certain situations the way that she is. I like her, she's nice, and I think a welcome addition to this TARDIS. There also is a really nice scene with her and the Doctor where they talk about her father who died in the previous story, and the way the Doctor comforts her is just wonderful. I really enjoyed that. You probably can't remember your family. Oh yes, I can when I want to, and that's the point really. I have to really want to, to bring them back in front of my eyes. The rest of the time they, they sleep in my mind, and I forget, and so will you. I do think Patrick Troughton is on fine form in this one. He works quite well, and I just find myself enjoying his Doctor a lot, and it makes me so glad that I decided to go through Classic Who because I didn't use to enjoy his Doctor. This was really the only story of his that I had fully seen before, and I didn't enjoy him, and watching him now, I really do enjoy him as a Doctor, and I just find I'm loving him more and more the more that I watch of this Doctor, and he's just really good, and Jamie is still very entertaining, and his chemistry with the doctor makes for some really good fun and I just I just quite like Jamie he's just nice now I'll talk about the Cybermen in this one seeing as this is a Cyberman story I think they work really well in this one they don't actually show up until the second episode but when they do it is done in a glorious scene and when they exit their tombs that has to be my favorite scene of this entire story that's really good stuff <laughs> And of course, we do meet this cyber leader, and I like the design of him. It's a little bit different, and it works pretty well. We also get the introduction of the Cybermats, and I'll be honest, I don't love them, but they work well enough within the context of the story, so they're fine. Also, I should mention that this story is paced really well. It's four parts, and I don't think it should have been any longer or any shorter. I think they did a good job of keeping the story moving and keeping me engaged throughout. I did find myself just really enjoying this one. It's just the kind of story that I like, and I think the Cybermen are well utilized in it. They're, they're just really good in this story. It's like a different sort of atmosphere than we got with the Moon Base, which was their previous entry, and it has this really unique flavor to it that I just found myself really enjoying and latching onto. The Cybermen work really well as villains led by the Cyber Leader, and it, it just is a really solid Cyberman story that comes together really well, and I really understand why this one is remembered as one of Troughton's best because it's really a great story. Overall, this episode just works well across the board. So many of the right elements with only a couple of complaints for me, which are super minor, great pacing, and some absolutely fantastic imagery make for a memorable Doctor Who story that has stood the test of time. This is how you open a season, and I am going to give The Tomb of the Cybermen a rating of 8.75 out of 10. So if you join me in just a few days here, then I should be reviewing The Abominable Snowmen. I have already seen it, I have thoughts on it, and I'll be bringing that to you shortly. Also, I'm planning to do a review for Doctor Who Series 12 very soon. If you're interested in that, then keep your eyes peeled, and that should be out within the next week or so. So I hope to see you around for some of that, but if not, that's totally cool. Just know that I appreciate your time here today. And with that said, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and have a lovely week.